In Year 7 this year, I have adopted the Chris pedagogy at St Joseph's Catholic High School. I have written the program for Living in Harmony as a sequence of representative challenges. To produce a sequence of challenges, I took the existing program and devised a concept map of the most important ideas in this topic. From the concept map, I could then create a sequence of challenges in a logical order. I use Chris because it enables me to cover many of the dimensions of the Dyson teaching and learning framework. I have adopted CRISP into my program because it enables engagement, deep knowledge, higher order thinking and inclusivity in the curriculum. From a personal point of view, I became involved in the CRISP project in order to gain institute approved professional development and because I'm thoroughly interested in educational research. It became evident during the implementation of CRISP that students' learning improved and that this pedagogy felt natural for my teaching style. Also, the students enjoyed the challenges and have subsequently chosen to complete topics in this manner. The class that performed the challenge was a Year 7 class with mixed ability. The topic they were studying was called Living in Harmony. During the previous lesson, students completed a challenge which included the Six Kingdoms. During the challenge, students plan, discuss and negotiate their ideas to come up with an agreed representation for their challenge. While the process is occurring, the staff acts as a facilitator of learning. They can assist students by scaffolding work and asking questions. Can you do something else other than the table? One of the critical stages of the challenge is when students present their work. It is critiqued by their peers. This is our representation. We decided to do it like a draft. Our peer was declared in play. Oh, wait, no, the largest was an Amelia, so that was the And then we were declared in play. CRISP is a very powerful way of busting misconceptions. At the end of the challenge, it's important for students to identify the key learning ideas in the challenge. Students are asked whether or not they like the Chris method of learning and science. When she comes to Chicago, she can help us with what we don't know and expand on what we do. Um, the best part about science that I like is when we all get together and present our work and there's, um, to see how creative and what we did and constructive feedback so we can learn how to do better and stuff like that. Um, it's cool because you get to interpret things in a different way and sh uh, show your ideas to the class. What's your favourite representation? Um, well, I like the ones my group does, we try making them funny and yeah, I like funny ones like that, that like have got a lot of information. Best part about science? Um, I like doing the challenges because you get to pick your groups and um, you get to like, sh it's a different way of doing work rather than writing it all down because I think the challenges uh, make you remember the information more because you're thinking and representing it 